Well, hello and welcome back, and thanks for coming back. This is downtown Payer. To the left is Coral Bay. Unfortunately, Coral Bay Strip is all dug up, so we're going to go up into Payer and see how the new road is looking. How is it bedding in? Because there are one or two people who are curious to know, because of course they're coming to Patmos, Payer in particular, very, very soon indeed. So it's a brand new road We've gone through the centre of Payer, and there's new pavements and new parking areas, and it's looking absolutely spectacular. If you're looking for somewhere to go on a Sunday, by the way, in the football ground car park in the centre of Payer, there is a Sunday market. It kicks off at nine o'clock in the morning and finishes at around about one o'clock in the afternoon. Not the biggest market in the world, don't get me wrong, but if you want to amble around for half an hour or so, there are one or two stalls waiting there, especially for you. One or two selling second-hand clothes, one or two selling bric-a-brac, and there's a girl that makes some rather nice pies and pastries and those kind of things. And she shows her wares and also she'll make them to order for you. So if you want something delicious, that could be that special place to go on that Sunday morning when you're looking for something to do just before you get ready to go for lunch, isn't it? Down to the Coral Bay Strip. Because most of the restaurants in and around the Coral Bay Strip are still open. Very difficult to get to them, but you can park in the rear streets and somehow meander your way through into those restaurants. We wish them all the luck in the world. And of course, rumor has it that in a month or so, Coral Bay Strip will be finished. Let's hope so, fingers, fingers crossed, because we understand that uh, those businesses are suffering. And of course, so are we guys, because we can't go to our favorite bars or our favorite restaurants. But these things have to be done. We have to spill that little bit of milk to make it perfect. So there we go. That's the big pay, 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 pay station. Well, it's a big pay station for the man that owns it, but that is the petrol station in Payer. That's the most popular and the busiest, and it's got the best car wash as well, by the way. Stonehouse Inn, if you want a nice meal with a view of the petrol station and across the treetops and the rooftops down towards Coral Bend. So we are now wiggling and we are waggling through mid Payer. So we call Coral Bay and the likes of that lower payer. This is mid payer. And of course, as you go up into the hills, we call that upper payer. These are localized terms, if you understand. All in all, it's called payer. And payer is a huge place, by the way. And it's split up into one or two little areas. Like I say, lower, mid, upper. Sea Caves, that's in payer. Argus St. George, that's in payer. Coral Bay, that's in payer. Tower Gym, if you want a bit of fitness. Pesto Kiosk bit of barbecue stuff there as well if you want some villa rental that's where you might want to go and if you want to get some removals done or some shipping there is cypress container shippings you've got an insurance broker here this brand new road as we can see and some nice allocated parking harris bar a great place to go and chill out and meet friends and often on the weekend they have live music we've got the payer health center coming up on the left and there's a pharmacy and there's a bakery we've got a good little restaurant to earn a bar snack bar on the right hand side you've got a bookies you've got some nails and lashes you've got the brewery bar more car parking the britannia kiosk what more could you want and that's why payer is so so popular and a lot of people come and live in payer and live here for the rest of their lives and only pop to Paphos for the mall now and again or perhaps to the Paphos airport when they want to escape why do they want to escape? Well, sometimes in July and August, it's a little bit too hot if you've been living here all year round. We've got a great vet, by the way. We've got a man who fits tyres for you. And we've got a big speed bump, which slows us down so we don't run people over. And coming up here is La Casa. I think that's how you say it. And this is a tapas bar, specialised in gins. That's only been open about a year, so if you come to pay, why not go and have a look at them? We've got the police station. You don't really want to be going in there unless there's you've got problems or they called you but that's where it is and as we go up here you can take a left and go down towards the Savas Grill restaurant or you could pop into this restaurant which is called the Mediterraneo they've also got a bit of a museum thing going on as well and then up here we've got another load of shops and if you want your pool cleaned well look at that deep blue pools that could be that pool specialist for you perhaps if you want some refurbishments retailing perhaps you haven't got a pool and you want a pool put in i'd go and see deep blue pools if i was you jail bar that's there 
big car park down there, municipality Palace car park. And at the moment, it's still free of charge. And around here, well, there's just too many bars to mention, to be honest. They're everywhere. And a brand new Arabica coffee shop sitting there waiting just for you. This is the main payer municipality offices. So if you've got some queries or some rates bills, should we call it, water bills to pay, that's where you go. If you want that perfect smile, there's the dentist. And if you're an uptown payer, this is the supermarket. It doesn't look that big from the outside, but I promise you when you walk in, oh my good, if your name's Doctor Who, you'll think it's big. You really, really will. And we're gonna go back round and go through that main central part again and name one or two more businesses that we may have missed along the way because of course there's an awful lot of business here you want to shave or a trim or your beard chopped off that could be the barber shop for you again that's the financial department there brand new on the left hand side next door to the coffee shop and we've got restaurant after restaurant it's crazy around here there's, there's more restaurants than you can possibly want pay a taverna great restaurant fitos restaurant you've got the versi it just goes on and on so if you're looking for a bite to eat payer could be that place for you and of course there is a shop here that sells tvs and fridges and all those kind of things just coming up on the right hand side and again that's right across the road to possibly the greatest pool cleaners in the world deep blue pools which are there on the left hand side if you like what you see, don't forget to hit that like. Don't forget to keep coming back for that little bit more of my complete and utter madness. And of course, don't forget to go and hunt us down on that Buy Me Coffee platform. That's how you can gift us that virtual coffee or two or three or four or five. If your name is Lady Anna, my superstar in downtown Krakow in Poland. Now, a bit of information for you. That was one of the girls in blue driving a police car. That was pretty obvious. But you may have noticed that the lights on the top, the blue lights, were not flashing. So if those lights are not flashing, that means she's off duty. That's what it means. So when you've got a police car following you around with its lights flashing, it doesn't want you to stop. It's just telling the world that it's off duty and don't do naughty things. When they want you to stop, don't worry. They'll either start sounding their klaxon, their siren, or they'll get their guns out and start shooting at you. So don't get misunderstood. If you see a police car with lights behind you, don't worry. If they're sounding their sirens and waving their guns at you, if I was you, I would stop very, very quickly indeed. Look at that for a view on a spectacality of a day indeed. If your name is Sir Jim, cuddle up to Lady Amanda. Give her a kiss, give her a cuddle, because guess what? We'll be coming to Paphos very, very soon indeed. Oh my goodness. It literally does take your breath away. And if your name is Sir David Potter, there's a girl in your life called Lady Angela, guess what? You'll be coming to Paphos soon. And this road is open and it is waiting. It really is. It's waiting especially for you. Let's keep going along this road and join the main coastal road and we'll be coming out in the Sea Caves area. So like I was saying, Chapea is a huge area and it's carved up into one or two mini areas. Like I say, Paya, Coral Bay, Sea Caves, Argus, St. George, and uh, like I say, the locals call it Lower, Mid and Upper Paya. So basically what, the six parts of Paya. It's huge and there's more foreigners living in Paya than anywhere else population is around about 10,000 so I'm told now and around about 5,000 of those are foreign nationals. Many are British but of course many are German, Swiss, Russian, Portuguese. Yes I met a Portuguese gentleman the other day. So it's a hot pot, a mix, a multicultural society and it's all waiting especially for you. Especially on a day like today. The temperature, if you're curious to know, is 24 degrees and it's not even 10 o'clock in the morning. And we've only just entered April. Oh my goodness, we need more air conditioning. I'm going to say thanks for watching. If you like what you see, hit that like, click that subscribe. Don't forget to keep coming back for that little bit more of my complete and utter madness. So this now is the main road from the top end of Payer, Sea Caves area back towards Coral Bay. So sit back and enjoy the views. 
perfect. They are used to die for. There's villas getting built everywhere, so if you are looking for that perfect villa, Haya could be that perfect, perfect place for you. Don't click off just yet. We're going to keep on going to that roundabout where we started our tour up into Haya. And it's a great, great day indeed. We're missing you like crazy. And a big shout out to some of the guys that like to watch the show now and again. If your name is Dayman, our girl in charge, we're waiting for you very, very impatiently. Of course, Lord Julian, he'll be impatiently locking on the screen a little bit later when Marika confuses her English. You never know, we might be bringing the honeymoon girl, Lady Bridget, back to Paphos this summer. We hope so. Fingers crossed, legs crossed and arms crossed. We'd love to see you again very, very soon indeed. Big shout out to Lord Paul and, of course, Lady Marilyn in downtown Carnarvon. They like to dance in and around Bettisicoid. And a big shout out to some of the guys up in Scotland. If your name is, my cousin King James. You've got a queen who's running the living daylights out of Scotland and gets super fit while she's at it. That's our queen, Kareem. And if you're a king and your wife's a queen and you've got a daughter, that must mean that she's a princess. A big, big shout out to our superstar. Princess darling, we're missing you like crazy. And hopefully you're going to persuade your dad and your mum to come back to Paphos again this year. We'll be waiting especially for you. You want some fruit? There it is on the right hand side. And this is called Golden Rye. This is a Jeep Safari Extraordinaire. Hunt them down on the Tinternet and you'll get all their prices. They take your guided tours in and around the Camus area and those kinds of things. Coral Bay is now on the left hand, right hand side. I confused my left with my right. You see, so Pay was on the left hand. Coral Bay is on the right. Philippos supermarket, their main supermarket. You saw the smaller version up in the top of Paya there. Well, the big boy is coming up very, very shortly indeed. Just before that is another parade of shops with a fruit market and the Coral Bay go-karting center is coming up right now. So if you want to whiz around a go-kart, well, there you go. That could be waiting especially for you. Philippos supermarket is now coming into sight. It's got a DIY wine center. It's got a craft center. It has, yeah. It's got a furniture center. It sells everything you can want. And on top of all of that, it's got a supermarket, which could be the greatest supermarket in the whole of Paphos. And it's got its own diner. And it's called Phil's Diner. And it's a little bit posh in there. Let's this gentleman go. So this is downtown Payer and downtown Coral Bay, all rolled into one, especially for you. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to hit the like. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel. And please don't forget to go and hunt us down on that Buy Me Coffee platform. Perhaps join us as a superstar member, or perhaps just gift us a virtual coffee or two, and tell us where you'd like us to go next. Thanks for watching, and of course, I'll see you again very, very soon.